Hello everybody, it's your boy and here coming at you guys with another YouTube video. So in today's YouTube video, I'm going to be going over my personal favorite Warframe and the absolute titan in this game, which is Vault Prime, and I'm going to be doing a build guide on him. So without further ado guys, let's just get right into today's video. So, there's three main builds that people run on the Warframe Vault. The first one being a nuke build, the second one being an Eidolon build, an optional, but the third one being a speed build. So... Vault is a frame with average stats, 125 armor, which is not the greatest, 300 energy, again, not the greatest, health, 300, again, not the greatest, and 450 shield, which is basically average. But Vault being one of the first prime frames in the game does mean that he holds a special place within this game. So guys, let's go on over the build first. First of all, I do, as you can see, have four Crimson Shards within my Vault just for extra strength and one uh, Tau Forged Amber Shard for effectiveness on orbs. Moving on, for the abilities, I do have Empower, replacing the Shock ability on Vault, just so that I can get extra power strength for this build. Second ability is Speed, and the third ability is Shield, and the fourth ability is the one that we all want, which is the Discharge, otherwise known as the Nuke. For mods, I have Corrosive Projection in the Aura slot, which reduces enemy armor, which helps them die faster. For the second mod, I do have power drift which is plus 15 ability strength because you know for a nuke we're going to need a lot of power and a lot of range it also has 30 percent chance to resist knockdown which can be useful but i'm not personally too bothered with the knockdown effect the third mod i'm going to be running is umbo intensify which obviously adds power strength and then we're going to be running archon stretch the reason we're using archon stretch instead of normal stretch is because it for abilities that deal electric damage it restores two energy over five seconds and obviously if we've got a massive field of range it's going to be restoring a lot of energy rather fast we've also got ogre reach for more ability range and we have got streamline for ability efficiency blind rage for more strength but minusing the efficiency so you know we have streamline to counter that transient fortitude for some more strength taking away a little bit of duration overextended for some range and August secrets for some strengths so for the arcanes you are going to want arcane energize rank 5 on this build only because we're not putting any energy mods on warframe on this frame so it's just easier to have arcane energize taking care of the energy and also the tau forge shard that i have thrown on which is more orb effective the next thing we've got on here is going to be Malt Augmented. So this is just extra power strength for the Warframe and can obviously help it out. Overall, the percentage of the strength does say 317 with 265 range. So the max range in this game, I believe is 280% that after that, it doesn't really matter, but the strength is what matters more. And all these mods alone, plus the shards is 317 strength and then Ogre, or not Ogre, sorry, Malt Augmented has added another 60% to that to make a total of 377 strength. Now, if you were to add on Tau Forged Amber Shards, uh, Amber, sorry, Tau Forged uh, Crimson Shards, this will be shooting a lot higher, and I'm working on that, and I have horrible luck, so there's not too much you can do with that. To partner up with this for the Focus Tree, I'm going to be using the Zenuric Focus Tree, only because of that Hardened Wellspring, which can give you back some energy so guys i'm gonna head on into the sanctuary and i'm gonna show you what this frame can do inside of the sanctuary so as you guys can see over here the vault goes through the map and absolutely decimates within the sanctuary this does go on to higher levels as well but this build is mostly designed for level 70 to 100 enemies and as you can see it will sweep the map very easily i've got 117 kills currently so you know this build works and as it as you go around this map just naturally you will find energy drops i like that and arcane energizer has pumped you all the way back up to the top so you can see that this build is very effective apart from uh cephalon samaris of disabling my fourth ability there's uh, not much else you can complain about but arcane energize will activate constantly so you guys are going to need that that is the main thing that this build does actually rely on 
if you were to have an arcane energized rank 4 or any other rank it will also work but it's just advised to max out your arcanes for the best efficiency for the arcane and just to get the best amount of energy back okay guys so now on to the second build which is the eidolon build so with the Eidolon build, obviously, there's going to be a little bit of a pair up. So, I've just made a quick preset over here that I'm going to put on just to show you. So, for the build, it is going to be Deadeye, which increases damage for your sniper rifle. Streamline for some ability. Augur Message for more duration. Constitution for some more duration. Umbral Intensify, again, for power strength. Um, uh, and Umbral Vitality, just regular vitality for a bit of health. Narrow Minded for some more duration. Blind Rage for more strength and Transient Fortitude again for more strength. So, for this build, I've changed the first ability from being Shock over to Eclipse. This is because you have a damage increase when using this ability and having high strength. And as you can see over there, 500% damage extra for your weapon is pretty lethal. For the arcanes i've got arcane acceleration i don't have rank 5 of this so rank 4 is the next best thing that you can get and for arcane momentum that is again going to help out for critical hits because this weapon that we're going to be using with it is going to be a critting machine for the weapon i'm using the dusty destroyer otherwise known as the rubico prime and for the mod build on this you're going to want to run this sort of configuration so Amalgam Serration is only on here because I just I like Sprint Speed for Vault and having high strength it does allow him to um, run a little bit faster but Heavy Calibre for some damage, Critical Delay it is advised you max this out, I've not maxed it out just because I'm out of mod space and I need to throw some more formers into this gun, Vital Sense for some more crit damage, Hellfire for some heat, Vigilante Armament for some Multi-shot, split chamber for some more multi-shot, and I do have a ribbon mod on here, which is plus crit chance, plus fire rate, plus multi-shot, minus reload speed. But obviously, if you take this off, your reload speed should be fine anyways, so you know, it is nice and easy. So, this is going to go with what I'm using is primarily, primary plated round. So, on reload, deal increased damage per round, loaded based on max magazine, and last 4 seconds. I only have this in rank 1, so you know, guys, I'm not the... OP Warframe player that everyone thought but this damage is going to suffice and absolutely shred absolutely any of the Eidolon's limbs let's see what time of day it is and let me see whether I can jump into an Eidolon match right now 1944 minutes so if I'm still recording in 44 minutes time I will be showing you how much damage this can do but I can't sadly to pair up with this we are going to be using the Madurai focus tree because of that lovely void strike and that just adds a ton more damage onto the warframe and with this build being so powerful the eclipse being 500 percent uh damage increase what you do is you throw a bunch of shields out and you simply shoot the eidolon through the shield and it does a ton of damage the eclipse is so powerful on this build that you quite literally do not even need to even aim with the rubico it does add a multiplier when you aim so i do advise aiming but it's so strong with this build that you do not even need to aim okay so guys i am unable to show you the vault in eidolon just because it's not night right now so i'm going to show you the next best thing i'm going to show you this vault build versus a bunch of heavy gunner xmi so what you do is first of all pop the eclipse you pop the shield you use the Madurai Void Strike and as you can see this literally shreds almost half if not all of their health and to put it simply and uh, no Eidolon is going to be able to tank a hit like this. For the speed build I am going to run over this right now so instead of replacing shock we've replaced the shield ability with infested mobility to increase parkour velocity. For the arcanes we've got arcane agility and malt vigor just for a little bit more power strength so this build completely relies on power strength and for the aura mod we are going to be using sprint boost again for that boosted sprint speed power drift again for some more strength rush for sprint speed speed drift for sprint speed and casting speed maglev for sliding faster umbral intensify for some strength 
lightning dash for a bonus on the bullet jump, aim glide, and you know, a, a nice little electric effect because why not? And these other three mods are here just for some more power strength. The best way to run this is if you want to be so fast and literally outplay the entire game, this is how to do it. I am going to put the Rubigo Prime on because as you guys saw over there, um, this does have a Mag Observation which adds some more sprint speed. And let's head into Plains of Eidolon and I'm going to show you how fast this vault truly can go. Can you shoot me and not kill me this time please? Okay, there you go. So guys, you just want to act for your second and then your third. And as you can see, this vault goes absolutely flying. As you can see, literally just jumping, you can go across the entire Plains of Eidolon in less than a bloody second. Well, that's an exaggeration. But as you guys can see, you are f absolutely flying with this vault. When there's no trees in your way, you do go absolutely burr. And Speed Vault is a, one of the most fun frames that I can recommend. You just got to keep some good weapons in order to thingy. And the survivability on this frame is not the greatest either. But as you guys can see, this is fast as hell, boy. Okay, so guys, for the final build, we're going to be going over the one that we all want to see, which is the end game build. So, for this build, I've got Steel Charge in order to increase melee weapon damage, Power Drift for some more power strength, Umbral Intensifies for some more strength, Archon Stretch, again, because this is ultimately a nuke, Adaptation, just so that, you know, we don't die, Streamline for some ability efficiency, St Power, uh, blah, blah, power with the Blind Rage, more power with the Transient Fortitude, Overextended for the range, and Orca Secrets. For the Arcanes, we're going to be using Malt Augmented for more ability strength and Arcane Guardian because, you know, we want to survive. So, I will run into a mission, a Steel Path mission, and show you how effective this vault can be. Alright guys, so we're in a survival mission in the Void. Um, auto Breach, because that works as well, why not? And what we're going to do is we're going to wait for some enemies to show up and we are going to absolutely bully them. So as you can see, there's some corp uh, some lancers over here, quite a few of them. So what you do is you terrify them, and then you simply nuke them. As you can see, no one survives. Well, screw the butcher. So as you guys can see, no one survives this build. This is truly the endgame vault that everybody wants. As you can see, even level 100 steel path enemies, as long as you armor strip them, you are good to basically just destroy them with the nuke. 103 nukes, 60 odd kills, but you can survive Steel Path with Vault, and this is exactly how to do it. Okay, so guys, that has been this video. Thank you so much for watching. Vault is one of the most versatile frames, as I've shown, and he can be used for a lot of different things. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like, any comments, review, or feedback. If you guys have built your vaults differently, do let me know how so in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.